If you have thinning hair, dry skin, fatigue, and trouble losing weight despite what you eat, then you might have a thyroid problem. And if you often use artificial sweeteners, you could be making your problem worse. Hi, I'm Dr. Becky from drbeckyfitness.com. I'm a college instructor of the science of nutrition. And in this video, I'll explain how two of the most common artificial sweeteners affect your thyroid gland's ability to function. Now, I'm talking about aspartame and sucralose, which you probably know as Equal and Splenda. Aspartame is a sweetener that's found in those little blue packets when you go to a restaurant. And aspartame is also found in NutraSweet products, um, it's found in Diet Coke, and it's also found in sugar-free kids' drinks like Kool-Aid. Sucralose is found in the little yellow packets of Splenda, and it's also commonly found in Diet Pepsi products, as well as a range of baked goods, and it's found in chewing gums and jellies and frozen dairy desserts. Now, in 2015, a study showed that regular use of these artificial sweeteners may lead to elevated TSH levels. Now, if you've ever had your thyroid test, tested before, you might be familiar with TSH. It stands for Thyroid Stimulating Hormone. So its job is to stimulate or tell the thyroid when to make its hormones. If your TSH level is too high, it can indicate that your thyroid is not getting the message that TSH is trying to tell it. Now, this study wasn't the end-all be-all of all scientific studies, but it was convincing enough to warrant a recommendation by the American Association of Clinical Endocrinologists to urge patients with the most common cause of hypothyroidism, which is called Hashimoto's thyroiditis, to stop using artificial sweeteners, pr primarily aspartame and sucralose. So Hashimoto's, what is that? Hashimoto's is an autoimmune disease. And when you have an autoimmune disease, what's really happening is inside of your body, your immune system is mistakenly attacking your healthy tissues. With Hashimoto's, the attack is aimed at your thyroid. Now, this study was not able to draw any firm conclusions as to why artificial sweeteners might increase your risk of Hashimoto's and, and therefore hypothyroidism, but the lead investigator speculated that the sweeteners might somehow be amping up your immune system to attack your thyroid. There's also some growing evidence that artificial sweeteners can alter your gut microbiome or the good bacteria in your gut. But what does your gut, right, which is down here, have to do with your thyroid, which is up here in your neck? Well, as it turns out, quite a bit. Sugar substitutes like Equal and Splenda are inflammatory foods, just like the sugar they're trying to replace. Inflammation in your digestive tract can lead to a condition called leaky gut, which sounds like a silly, obscure type of a condition, but it's actually a very common disorder, especially in people who eat the standard American diet. Leaky gut is what it sounds like. So your intestinal lining develops leaks that allow small food particles to pass into your bloodstream where your immune system sees them, identifies them as something foreign, and then attacks them. Some of these food particles, like gluten and dairy proteins, look a lot like your thyroid cells. So your immune system mistakenly look, identifies them as foreign and attacks them. And so then after the attack, your damaged thyroid is no longer able to produce a proper amount of thyroid hormones and you become hypothyroid. And to add one more thought, um, as I talked about in my video on foods that boost your thyroid function, Splenda can inhibit the absorption of zinc and iodine, which are two nutrients that are needed in order to make thyroid hormones. So, What's the bottom line when it comes to artificial sweeteners and thyroid function? Well, there is some evidence that these sweeteners can interfere with the function of your thyroid, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's causing you problems. The only way to, do, to look at that is to really test it on yourself. So try, I recommend you give them up for the next month. If you're feeling better and you're starting to lose weight, then you really need to look into how many artificial sweeteners that you're taking. If you'd like to improve your diet but you don't know where to start, then I recommend you watch my free video series that teaches you four daily habits to lose weight and live a healthy lifestyle. I'll leave a link to the series on uh, this video and in the description below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, then I encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will be back with more to help you live a healthy lifestyle.
Thanks for watching.